Jones update video by Ralph, uh, ASMR edition. Uh, I learned recently that uh, apparently ASMR videos uh, get a lot of views, so I decided to try this out. And, uh, hold on. This is ASMR. I just want to do a video on the new update 3.19 which isn't that big of an update but I want to do a video on movie clips in general because they're very useful for things like uh, memory usage per project which I will show here in this example project here uh, this is a collab background which I was forced into I think it's actually gonna release soon eventually but I'm gonna break it apart and it's now no longer a movie clip it's it's one frame with what seems to be a, a thousand stick figures on it and the thing is each of these stick figures has data information X Y uh, angle color and that's what takes up memory so we have one frame with thousand stick figures let me add like uh, 20 frames and watch the memory in the bottom left corner 17 18 19 20 frames and let's go up to 30 30 frames and it's using like hundred and twenty megabytes of memory which isn't good because you're gonna run out depending on your phone or your tablet you're gonna run out of memory the apps gonna crash you're gonna yell at me and we're all gonna have a bad time so let me reopen the project leave it as a movie clip so the background is still a movie clip we'll add those 30 frames again 20 30 30 frames it's using 18 megabytes of memory it's using no memory at all the point is shove anything that has a lot of nodes into a movie clip a background a gun a car whatever shove it into a movie clip use the movie clip and you're gonna preserve memory in your project it won't crash you won't yell at me I won't yell at you and we're all gonna just get along just fine okay now time for the new feature of this update which is actually gonna help with lag which is of course different from memory usage uh, with this project here I have that same background on it uh, eight times to cause lag on purpose because this movie clip has like 5,000 nodes a lot of filters it's gonna lag so we hit play and he's lagging pretty bad here and in the bottom left corner you can see I have the average render timing 0.15 seconds per frame which you know kinda sounds fast it's really not when you're talking about 60 frames per second that's slow and you can see he's lagging as he um, does his thing He's lagging. So what we're gonna do is utilize this new feature. We're gonna select one of these movie clips here, and you can see here there's a new checkbox: uh, cache reduce lag. Uh, actually, let me zoom in. It's lagging pretty bad. Zoom in here. Select the movie clip again, and you'll notice when I check the box, it loses quality. It looks pixelated. It looks lower quality. And that's on purpose. It's going to render quicker because of that. It's no longer vector based. It's not an image in memory. And it's going to render a lot quicker. So we're going to check the box. It looks lower quality. All those movie clips are the same. They all are the same frame, same movie clip. So they're all cached. They're all basically just an image now. Hit play, and you'll notice it's going a lot faster now. It's going at uh, 0 0.005 seconds per frame which um, if I could do math I could tell you right now how much faster that is I don't know it's a lot faster though and you can see it's a lot smoother because the movie clip is no longer vector based it's an image so what caching does it's gonna cache the movie clip it's gonna make it look lower quality just temporarily it will not look like this when you export the animation it'll just look like this in the project it's a lot quicker so what you should do is you should put anything with a lot of nodes in a movie clip. Again, a background, uh, a, a gun, a weapon, whatever it may be, a car. Shove it into a movie clip, it's gonna save memory, but if you cache it, it's also gonna make it le uh, lag less. Uh, right now it only works with uh, single frame 
movie clips does not work with an animated movie clip for now. Maybe in the future. I don't know. I might not be smart enough to figure that out. But for now, just use a single frame movie clip for all of your static objects. Again, weapons, guns, cars, people. Put it in a movie clip, cache it, you get a lot better of a time. But wait! There's more! Okay, bonus time. Now, a lot of people ask for this. How do you animate a walk cycle? I should make it a new video. I don't feel like it. So I'm going to shove it here at the end of this video. It has nothing to do with movie clips at all. But I will redirect anyone that ever asks to this part of the video. How do you animate a walk cycle? Very simply. I have a project here ready to go. Right here. There's Ralph. I put him in a movie clip. He's ready to go. So let's go into the movie clip. Edit. And there's frame one. Okay, that's frame one of your walk. First step, you need a floor, so I'm gonna put the guides on this right here. That's the floor, so put it right here. That's the floor, very important, the floor, the walk cycle. Add a new frame. Frame two is not gonna be the next frame in the walk cycle, it's going to be the last frame in the walk cycle. What does that mean? That means just basically swap the back leg with the front leg, something like Something like this, kind of, and swap the front arm with the back arm. That's not the back arm. The back arm, like that. He's got shoulders. It's kind of annoying. Just bear with me here. Something kind of like this. Boom. Quick. Cool. Play. All right. It's not a walk. I don't know what that is. Harlem Shake. Something. That's not a walk. Cool. Now we have to add a frame in the middle. You could do it manually, you could click add frame and move them around and do it, but that's just more work. What you can do is click the first frame and do add tween frame here in the menu, click, and it did a lot of the work for you. It's ready to go. All you have to do is make sure the foot is on the floor, not below the floor, not above the floor, on the floor, which is the guideline, boom. The arms shouldn't be up, so just bring him down right in the middle and he's walking forward with his back leg going forward so just grab the back leg something like this and just you know realistically that's how it would be it'd be bent like that okay there's the middle frame it already looks like a walk we have to do the middle frame now for when the front leg is going forward from essentially frame three here to frame one so to do that, I'll copy frame 1, go to frame 3, paste it temporarily, go back to frame 3, add tween frame again here in the menu, boop, and again do the same thing, basically. Make sure the foot is on the guideline, arms come down, and this time the front leg is bent, not the back leg, so bend the front leg like it's going forward, and then delete that frame we just added here because it was just temporary delete it and if we hit play all right doesn't look like a walk cycle let me hold on turn tweening on uh add some more tween frames slow it down a bit okay that's a walk right that's a walk cool that was it four frames tweening on you got a walk cycle very simple finished uh click play boom walk well let me slow it down hold on Cool, there we go. Wait, 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 wait. And more twin frames. Cool. Walk cycle done. Video done. Um, well, yeah, video done. I don't know how to end these videos. I mean, again, I could just cut it off in the middle of a sentence, but that joke's kind of.